What's up, YouTube? This is Paul from Mickey Tech Tips, and this week I'm in Washington, D.C. on spring break, and I brought my Freedom Pop Hotspot along, and I'm picking up 4G for s some weird reason, which is good, because when I was at home and it says I have 4G, I was not picking it up at all. And if you see this blue light, that's what that means. It means I'm getting 4G. And the green light was 3G, and, like, the speeds on them, it, I mean, isn't so great. It's 3.44 megabytes per second download and 0.89 megabytes per second upload, which is a major difference between the 0.08 megabytes per second and 0.12 megabytes per second I was getting at home. And another thing I have noticed as traveling in a car and stuff, that when I have the thing um, connected to my phone and we switched cell towers, the thing drops all the devices you cannot connect back to until you reboot the device. I've noticed that and I've also noticed that the data usage is actually showing up on the device which is a good good thing in a way but I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. It might be because the 3G was so slow it wasn't using much data or the 3G is unlimited. But you'll never know the truth to that because Freedom Pop customer support is a piece of crap. And like I had one gig this month and I only have 842 megabytes left because the majority of the trip up here it was on 3G and so it's not showing up but yeah. I just want to update you on the Freedom Pop situation. I still wouldn't recommend it for someone wanting a fast broadband connection that they can carry around with them. Um, it's still not as fast as like my Verizon 4G LTE so yeah. Um, next week I will have either a Chromebook or an optimization video and have a good week. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.